So, um, recently I've been watching a, a videos by Maximilian Dude, uh, and I've seen other people do this as well, where they essentially review skins in a fighting game, and they sort of like give it a scale of 1 to 10, stuff like that. And uh, I thought I'd do that for Dead or Alive, since I don't think I've seen anyone do it for Dead or Alive. And I'm joined by Kyle as well from the last video. Hello. Okay, so the way this is going to work is a uh, scale of 1 to 10. The main three categories here that it's going to be focused on is sexual attractiveness because it's dead or alive. I mean, I don't think it's like as bad as a lot of people say, but it's dead or alive. You can't ignore that fact. How good the skin looks in general and then how good the skin looks on a certain person because there are going to be a lot, of, especially with the DLC, there's a lot of repeat skins and it's going, each girl does make the outfit look differently. Some girls fill it out better, so forth. I'd say some guys, but there weren't that many DLC skins for the male characters here. And so we're As gonna nature intended. <laughs> and so we're going to be starting off with Kasumi's uh, default outfit. It comes in primary black, secondary blue, primary red, secondary black, and then it comes in primary white, secondary blue. Uh, I'll be honest, I think this is the best one of the three. We're not going to review each individual color palette swap because, well, that'd take way too fucking long. Uh, so Kyle, you think this is the best one, or do you prefer a different one? I think the white work, works really well with the blue. Yeah, right. Like this is this is definitely the best version. This should have been her base outfit because this black one does not look anywhere near as good. Yeah, this black one looks kind of drab, but this white one here, this one was a really good choice. It's the first skin on the list. Um, it has this is a really good skin, like. The sexual appeal is gone here because this was like them trying to show like something new. But the skin was actually really nicely done. It looks really good. Everything's all across the board. That katana in particular actually looks really fucking nice in my personal opinion. It has a really good shine to it and everything. Um, mm. <laughs> showing, showing the katana really does look good. <laughs> it, it, I mean, the skins here are pretty good actually. The ones that are one way, like look at that black fucking shine right there on the katana. That shit is fucking gorgeous. I, I'm unfortunately but, not ever seen I mean, it. whenever you move her model and she stops, her tits jiggle, and that's hilarious. The jiggle physics do exist on skins, and this skin actually has some of the least jiggle physics. Uh, like, you'll see in the next one right now, I think that has more jiggle physics, and you'll notice it. I'm going to give this one an 8 out of 10. This is going to be, for me, an, an 8 out of 10, because it's a really good-looking skin, but just this version. The other ones are like 5 out of 10s. They're just not that good. The color palette does make a difference here. Personally, if it wasn't for the red armbands, I'd probably go 8, but I'd probably go 7.5. Alright. Next up, we're moving on. So this is actually her classic battle outfit. So we have the classic color palette in general, the black and blue. Uh, this one does have uh, the katana as well, which is going to be just a straight plus, but it also has some kunai involved as well. Uh, straight blue, which is the one I actually bought. And then we have a straight red version. I'll be honest, for this one, I'm kind of a fan of the original black one. Like, none of these are bad. I'd say this is a pretty good skin palette in general, but I think the first one's probably way better. The black one really reminds me of Ninja Gaiden. Yeah, because that's, uh, that's where it came out. It came out in Ninja Gaiden 3 first, so I, I think we'll stick to reviewing this one. Again, the katana just making it shine. It is, in my personal opinion, it is a better outfit than the uh, than the default, the new battle outfit. I, I personally would give this one a 9 out of 10 for sure. Because that katana, the, the kunai don't look as good as the katana does. But the outfit overall is just, in my opinion, better than the actual one. And in every color swap, it looks better as well. Can't deny that. Plus, it looks sexy and it looks practical at the same time. Yeah, no, I, like, you know, it, it's just, if when you're thinking dead or alive, this is going to be an outfit you're going to be, well, <laughs> this is an outfit you should be thinking of, given the story and context and everything. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and uh, just say 9 out of 10 there with that one, that's going to be a good one. And next up, we actually have her default, her original default outfit, the classic Kasumi outfit, uh, which, again, the katana... Actually, the katana doesn't look as good in this one as it did in the others. I, I don't know if that has to do with its placement swap or something, but it's not really... Uh, the black shine kind of suffers here being tied to the back. Uh, this comes in a white-red variant, and it also comes... Mm -hmm. with, I like this. You like, you like the white-red variant? It also comes in a black and gold variant as well. You could do without the bottom pop, but I think everything else is pretty good. 
I, I mean, like, the in this particular one, I like this one better because this one makes the katana look better. But honestly, the uh, the color palette swaps on this skin are also really nice. It's almost like the original outfits were just, you know, good outfits. <laughs> I'm going to give the actual, I'm going to give personally the, this one, this specific type, a 9 out of 10 as well, because it's really fucking good. The others would get like a 7 or 8 out of 10 for me. The blue one would get the least, um, the least rating for me, because it's, it just makes the katana look awful. It's, the black and gold design really pops as well. Yeah, it's, yeah, because there's a design on two of them. The middle one doesn't have a design. And obviously, you know, showing off all that leg and everything, you know, that's, that's close to 10 out of 10 material, but that katana needs to shine a little more there. I kind of wish now she actually used the katana in gameplay, because I, I, I noticed that a lot of her skins have a fucking weapon. I think they all do, actually. It's just for show. <laughs> it's just for show. It's actually a plastic fucking uh, 99 cent store fucking katana. Uh, so, what are you thinking, Kyle? What, what's your rating here? I'd probably get out of Solid 8. Get out of Solid 8? Is that going to be for all three of them, or is that going to be for just like... Uh, just the black and gold. Just the black and gold? All right. Cause it... Oh, go ahead. Because even... Would you call that maroon? Okay, so the red, I want to say is maroon. Yeah, I think... Because it's not fully red. It's sort of like... Maybe beige? I think beige is a shade of red. But yeah, no, it's uh, it's not straight it, it, red. It's one of those colors It's like... I didn't expect it to work well, but it does work well with this. I think I think what could really make it work better though is if they change the katana's red hilt to be the same color as the beige, because the katana mm. is, stra is straight red. You can also change your bow tie I think to any color you want. I'm not sure on that one, but like you know, the, the hair is a separate uh, feature, so we won't focus too much on the hair either. And next up is a traditional. Uh, I don't know what the outfit's called. I think it's called a yukata or something. I've seen it in animes. I just don't know what it's called. It comes in three colors as well. Blue, My pink, and white. Kimono? It's a kimono? I think the one you're talking about is for the men. <laughs> I, 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 I wouldn't know. Uh, I'm taking a guess. You're taking a guess here? Yeah. Fair enough. Okay, so uh, you, might not, you might have noticed this or not if you're watching the video, but there's no jiggle physics in this skin, actually. They're straight up no jiggle physics. Yeah, because some skins have it, some skins don't, based on uh, heavier clothing. Um, I'm not too on the on these costumes. Uh, it makes it look like she works at a tea shop. <laughs> uh, I, I, I will say some of the costumes do, do look better, and some of them actually do have better designs. I'm going to be honest here. Um, I'm going to give the skin a, a 4 out of 10. It's not a... None of them are really good, and the designs, like, I mean, so they look good, but they're not, like, all that good in comparison to what, you know, we've already seen before. I don't know, it's, it's just kind of lacking. Like, the designs also aren't very, like, popping out there either. Mm. What do you think? Yeah, I'm not a real fan of it. Yeah, it's just, uh... It, it, it could, like, I think it's the color palettes that are bad. I think, like, if we had maybe the black and gold one, we'd be in a better situation because black and gold seems to work, like, black just in general seems to work better with Kasumi. But, yeah, no, I'm going to give this one 4 out of 10. It's not the worst skin, but it's definitely not all that good. Uh, so this is her basically, like, fucking fancy tea shop outfit. Uh, this one does have some jiggle physics. Uh, again, uh, looks pretty good in my personal opinion. We have three variations, black, blue, black, red. Does it change the necklace as well? Uh, it changes the color of the necklace as well. And then we have white and pink. Hmm. The white ones are the white ones actually work out pretty well for Kasumi, but I'm gonna be honest here, I think the I think the black and blue one's the best one out of the bunch. I don't know, it, it just looks more crisp this time around. Oh no, they all look like straight clothes. I mean, yeah, they're all they're all good sets of clothing, but uh, I'm gonna give this one a six out of ten because uh, it does lose the sexiness factor completely, as with the last one. But it's actually a really good looking like fucking skin. It's really well done. Maybe a seven out of ten actually for this one in particular because it, 
I mean, the textures are there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it very well on the video, but, like, if you're actually looking at the game itself, the textures just look wonderful. And it does look like a really well-done skin. So, I, I think for me, it's going to be a 6 or 7 out of 10. What yeah, about? I'll, I'll go about that. You're, you're thinking 6 or 7 out of 10, too? Yeah. All right, so next one is going to be... I... I don't really know. Um... I don't understand what this outfit is. I cause it looks like sleepwear, but she's wearing denim short shorts. So I I don't know what the fuck this outfit's supposed to be. It it looks like she stole it from a child. It it does it does look rather strange in comparison. And the co okay, so actually, hang on a minute. So the denim shorts are actually green in this one. Uh, I'm not sure. If you, yeah, you can see that on screen. But are they? Do they change colors for the others or? I mean, the, the green one looks the best out of all of them if I had to choose. I mean, personally, I wouldn't choose this outfit in general because I don't know. I just kind of feel uncomfortable with it because I don't know what the fuck it's supposed to be. Like it's just because it, it, it's not like a fucking Sunday fucking outfit because there's there's too much skin being shown. <sighs> like in all, like personally, it looks like she <laughs> she stole a skirt from a child and just decided to wear it. Well, uh, she. Well, okay, so there is shorts there, and then it's a blouse. I think this is what you call a blouse. I just, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10 because it is better than the fucking, the, the 4 out of 10, but I just don't get it. Mm, I'd go probably 4. you go 4 out of 10. All right. Uh, next up is the deluxe costume, which uh, I'll be honest right now, it's going to be a straight 8 out of 10 for me. I don't know. I haven't been a sucker for like ninja masks like that. Something wrong with you, Kyle? No, I'm trying to stop the dog from barking. Yeah, I was going to say, like, you want to Damn. Hang on. You. That's all. I'll pause the video real fast. Okay. That's, no, yeah. So this, this comes from the deluxe skin pack, which came out with the game. If you bought the game for $70, you got a skin for everybody. I'll be honest, the deluxe skin pack is probably going to be the best skin pack in the game because you have good costume designs on most characters and they are the most sexually appealing of almost every skin with the exception of a few uh, random exceptions. But no, for me, this is going to be a straight out of 10. The design's nice. Uh, I don't know what the fuck she's wearing on her arms. I think it's like a fishnet thing, but uh, I, I, lo I love the mask. The mask just really sells it for me on this one. Mmm. And, it, and there's a little, like, semi-skirt thing there, too, but, I don't know, honestly, for, for me, it's just the mask. The mask really fucking sells it for me on this one. Not I, think the, the aesthetic, I think the aesthetic alone looks really good. The what? The aesthetic alone? Yeah. I'll be honest, I think black and gold is just her color at this point, because it's usually, because, like, black for sure works with her, and then, like, the black and gold ones seem to dominate most of the time. So, what would you rate it? Yeah. Probably nine and a half, maybe ten. Yeah. All right. Next up is the digital deluxe bonus. Uh, you get this in the deluxe pack as well. And uh... oh fuck, oh fuck, the katana looks fucking wonderful on this one. Actually, it's not. I, I don't know what the fuck it is with the katana. Like, cause sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. Uh, this is gonna be a straight ten out of ten for me. I feel like she's won this in a Ninja Garden game. It looks like it looks like a combination of her default like original outfit and her battle outfit. It looks like a combination of the two, and I don't know. I think it might be her best skin. Like I I haven't seen all her skins in a while, so I could be wrong, but I think this might be her best skin in general. Hmm. I'd go a nine. Mm. All right. Uh, early purchase bonus. This is what you would get if you pre-ordered the game. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. There's not really too much to say on this one. She's got a skirt. She's got a fucking half-top shirt. No, oh, shit. It's more going for that Japanese schoolgirl thing. Oh, uh, there is a schoolgirl outfit pack actually later that we'll see in, in her. And... Of course there is. <laughs> no, no, no. I'll be honest. Only two of them are, only two of them are good. I'll be honest. And we'll get to them. But yeah, no. I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10 because... Uh, if it's supposed to be highly sexual, I feel like the deluxe costume does it better. And while it's not a bad design, uh, the gold doesn't really pop out as much as the katana does and stuff in the other skins. And the belt kind of just doesn't really work either. I feel this costume would work better if they went for maybe a different shade of blue. 
Yeah, yeah, especially on the fucking skirt. The skirt looks fucking like a weak ass shade of blue. Okay, so it looks like it's going through the dryer too many times. <laughs> Supposed to be dry clean only, you stupid bitch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the happy wedding costume. This is the first pack that came out. It's a wedding outfit. Uh, everyone gets one like this. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid eight out of ten. Uh, some wedding costumes aren't very good, but Kasumi's is. Uh, Kasumi's is one of the better ones. I wouldn't say it's the best, but it's certainly one of the better ones up there. Hmm. It's all right. <laughs> so are you thinking like 7 out of 10 or 6 out of 10? Uh, I run that mark. Yeah, I was going to say, because uh, you, you didn't seem too impressed with it. Uh, this is the second pack that came out, uh, Pirates of the Seven Seas. I'm gonna, I, I'll be honest here, Kasumi, like, there's, I don't think there's, like, really that many bad skins on Kasumi in general. I'm gonna have to go to another step. It looks like an early One Piece character. <laughs> I think that's what they do, is going for, like, manga fucking, manga Baroness or something like that, manga pirate character. I'm gonna go 7 out of 10, because it's, it's not, like, it's not better than some of the good ones we've already seen, but it's not, like, bad by any comparison. I feel like the costume could probably look better if she lost the fucking hat. Well, I'd show it to you without the hat, but unfortunately, like, I'd have to buy a DLC to do that. Oh. But you can remove the hat. So, removing the hat, you rate the skin higher? Yeah. So, somebody obviously thought the hat looks fucking stupid. <laughs> it does. It's not, a, it's not a good hat. It's too big, I think, is the problem. Like, fucking, it, like, dwarfs her entire fucking face. And, but she, has a dr she has a dress like a pirate and a hat like a comic. You're not wrong, actually. Yeah, you're absolutely right there. I was going to say, I'm not sure she's supposed to be a Commodore or like someone in the British Navy on this one. The actual base skin is great. The color is great. All of it's great. I wish the belt buckle shined a little more, but that uh, that hat just fucking, that hat really just steps in and ruins it a little bit. I'll still get a 7 out of 10, with, even with the hat. If Without the hat, it's a little higher, but I mean, I, I wouldn't go full 8 out of 10 on this. I'd probably go seven and a half if it didn't have the hat. Yeah, and like, six with the hat. <laughs> six with the hat, like no, it gets a hat's a full fucking downgrade. Okay, <laughs> so next up is the first bikini skin, uh, Seaside Eden. Uh, this is gonna sound kind of weird, but the bikini skins are kind of more of the lamer ones in this game. Um, it does have Needs nice. Life. What? Needs less. <laughs> Needs less. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I'll, I'll give it like a fucking maybe a six out of ten, maybe a five out of ten, because it's I don't know. It's, it's kind of a boring skin. The design, like a bikini, it, it's a nice looking bikini, but like I don't know, like it's basic. There's no design. Yeah. It's, well, there is a very faint design on the actual bra itself, but it's not really that noticeable. Yeah. It's 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 just not a. I I think they could have done a better job here, but I'm not really sure how. It does follow a color scheme nice, though, but I'm still just giving it a 5 out of 10. What about you? I'd probably say maybe 7. Maybe 7? Uh, she does have, I think, another one, actually, so we'll be able to compare it, and then if you want to change your mind, you can. Uh, Summer Breeze Collection. So this is, like, the Sunday best outfit, so to speak. Uh, it's going to be a 6 out of 10 for me. I don't really think pink works for her. What's she trying to go for the bow paint appeal? I, I I guess I mean I really don't know what the hell was the point of this skin pack because it came out immediately after Seaside Eden, but I didn't really understand who was going to be the appeal here because the straw hat just throws me off so hard. Who's this little C four farmers? <laughs> farmers only duck. <laughs> All right, so next one's gonna be uh, well. I mean, I guess a uh, final review. I'm gonna give it a five out of ten too. It's kind of boring. Yeah. Morphe Ninja costume. Now, if I recall correctly, this one does change colors, but I could be wrong there. I think this one does change colors, but I don't think we can see that here. Let me check and see. Will, will it show? No. I'm gonna lie. I'm digging the design. You like the design? Well, because yeah. it, it looks kind of like her deluxe outfit, just like with more clothing. 
I, I mean, for me, like, that mask, uh, that mask does look good. Um... I'd probably give this one an 8 out of 10. It's a really well done skin. Uh, the katana is shining nicely, as it should. And the rest of the outfit just looks pretty well done. Yeah, the color scheme is well done on it, too. Yeah. I, I think white, really just white and black, just seem to be her best primaries. Every other color just kind of looks gross on her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. You? Yeah, I'll give that an 8. Uh, next up is going to be the Sexy Bunny outfit, which uh, I don't think any explained the history behind these kind of outfits, so... I'll give it an 8 out of 10. Mm, okay, 7. Alright. Witch Party costume, a Halloween event outfit. I'm going to give this one a uh, 7 out... Actually, no, I'm going to drop it a little bit. I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10, because the costume looks way too fucking plasticky. It I'm looks like a cosplay. Yeah, it's very clearly a cosplay, but, like, it doesn't really look like she's using leather. It just looks like she's using some form of fucking plastic. That or the cheapest material she could find. Yeah, and the honestly, the moon kind of looks fucking weird, because it looks like it's supposed to be real gold in one, but then it looks like it's supposed to be fake on the next. Yeah, I'm going to have to give this one a 6 out of 10. I mean, it's not it's not completely awful, but in comparison to what we've seen, I uh, we've seen better. Yeah. Okay, so this is the season pass three bonus costume. So it's so I gave this costume a ten out of ten when it was blue. It's literally the same costume just with like glasses. Lose, lose the glasses. Lose the glasses. I think I'd have to give this one a 9 out of 10, because even if you lose the glasses, I, I don't know, the white just, the gray just feels kind of weird. Like, maybe it's 10 out of 10 without the gl- the, the white, the white, and, the white, silver, and gray work, but like, the glasses look silly. The glasses just fucking strip ruin it. Yeah. I mean, I can see, I can, I can absolutely see that, and, I, but it's like, I can't look at this skin, like, without kind of, like, looking at the glasses, but... I don't know. For me, it's not as good as the original blue one we saw earlier. Yeah, I can agree with that. So, I'll, I'll give it a 9 out of 10. Because it is still a better skin than most, but... I uh, mm, feel like it could be a little better. And my plan of doing this all in one video has been shot down the fucking drain. Because <laughs> it is... Uh, you want, would you like to know how many minutes we're at, Kyle? How long have we been going for? 22 minutes. Bloody hell. Yeah, holy shit. I think I might be able to do two characters a video. <laughs> Although, to be fair, the guys are going to be a lot quicker. So, uh, see, this is the hot summer costume. Uh, this is a revival. Uh, once again, bikini, but with the shirt on. Um, I'll give it I mean, I've seen... I've, I've, I mean, that's not really anything to me. I've seen women walk around like that at my workplace. <laughs> Well, all right, that's gonna, all right, all right, that's gonna need some context. I'm a gardener <laughs> and I work outside. <laughs> the world is my workplace. Yeah, no, I mean, and you live and you live in a fucking hotbed, so like, I, I would imagine like clothing is a thing out there. Uh, over here in uh, California, at the very least in the Valley area, we don't see a lot. We don't see a lot. We don't see girls like this, like dressed like that in any capacity. You know. TV shows based based in that area, I could have been surprised. Well, okay, because like most of the TV shows are on the beach, and I've no, I've been on the beach. I've never seen anyone wear an outfit like this. Like they'll they'll wear like either like a full fucking like they'll wear bikinis or they'll wear something, but I've never seen like an outfit like this worn in real life. So I'm gonna give it an eight out of ten because. I assume you've never. I, I assume you've never been to a nudist beach either. No, no, we do not have those in California. They're good until they're not. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I, I really like it. Hmm. Yeah, I'll go probably, probably 7. Just because I'm used to it. Energy Up Training Wear. Now, this is actually a crossover with a separate anime. And the an uh, I'm not sure if you've seen the anime, but it's an anime of girls who want to work out. Uh, and so it's just about them working out. I've heard about it. 
This is a, this is a crossover with that anime. So this isn't a this is a, a crossover skin with that anime. Please, please tell me that's not a shake weight. That is Stuck not a shake awesome. weight. That is a six yeah. kilogram weight attached to her. I don't know what that is. How how much is six kilograms? Damn! When she jumps and lands on you, it's gonna feel fucking fierce. <laughs> Hang on, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to check how much six kilograms is real fast. Uh, okay. <laughs> Well, I don't know how to convert that to fucking like pounds, cause I I I'm in America. Six kilograms to pounds is okay. So thirteen pounds. Yeah, that seems about right. I'm just wondering how the fuck her shorts stay on with six kilograms weighing them down like that. But you do see a bit more of her rear in this skin than you do in the other. Let's put it this way: if her ass can support six kilograms, her cunt can probably support twice that. <laughs> I don't know how fucking muscles work. Uh, I'll be honest. Uh. I'm a big fan of sports outfits in general, so I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. I'd give it a 10 out of 10, but, like, I don't know. Like, for me, like, it just, the the, the, the rear just looks fucking weird with the drag down. Again, I'd probably go to 7. You've seen this before, I take it? Oh, dude, all the fucking time. <laughs> Next, we have the uh, Santa's Helper costume. Does the actual bell move or... Oh, okay, so the actual bell does have physics and everything. Oh. I'll be honest, I, I'll, give this one a, I'll give this one a 9 out of 10 too. I, this is a really good This is a really good looking skin. And the fact that the bell moves just really sells it for me. <laughs> Fucking Merry Christmas. <laughs> so you give it a 9 out of 10 or what? Definitely. Okay, Let so... Let ride my side. So here's where I'm gonna have to just like probably like completely get some weird things. I'm gonna give this one a one. This is just such a bad Santa outfit in comparison to the one we just saw. I, I don't know what it is, but like like you bikinis just kind of are really hard to pull off to make a decent fucking skin with. And that's kinda of weird saying that. What well, it'll feel weird saying this, but the other one was harder. This one just feels like a like a porn parody. Yeah, I don't, I don't really like this skin at all. Uh, this, this might, this, no, it's gonna be a two out of ten for me, not one out of ten, because I've seen one out of ten in this game, and that's not one out of ten. This is gonna be a two out of ten for me, but it's probably, the, it's probably her worst skin. I think it'd be her worst skin. I'm, I'm still gonna be gracious and say six. You gonna give it a six? Fair enough. Uh, gorgeous dress. I believe this is a, this was a twenty, I believe this is a twenty twenty DLC outfit as well. Uh, I could be wrong here, but I don't. And, of course, we have fucking 2020 glasses on it, so uh, try and ignore the fucking ridiculous glasses on it. If you get rid of the glasses, all I could say is, does this, like, appeal to Persians? <laughs> I don't know. God damn. I mean, That's a that... lot of yellow and gold. Yeah, all that golden shit that looks like a... <clears throat> you look like a Ferrero <laughs> or a chef. This looks like something you'd see, like, in a movie in, like, a fucking famous fucking, like, palace with the girls fucking walking by. This looks like a background character's outfit. Okay, so if anyone doesn't know what a Ferrero Rocher is, type it in, and it looks exactly like her fucking outfit. It's not awful, so I'm not gonna... I'll probably give it, like, a 6 out of 10, maybe, but, uh... I'll go 5. Go 5? I'll say yeah. I, I, I could be persuaded to a 5, because... It's not bad, but I don't know. It's, it's just kind of weird. It's, it's too yellow and gold. Needs more black. <laughs> no, it needs more contrast. It's, it's just stuck two strong colors on top of each other. Fair enough. Not And not in like a pleasant way. So this is one of the more expensive skin packs, the one up next. Uh, it is the Nova Sci-Fi Bodysuit. So this is the Nova skin pack. And yes, she does have cat ears on top, and she has a fucking tail as well. If you if you notice that, I'm not the biggest fan of her Nova skin. I'm gonna give this one a four out of ten. Kind of reminds me of like sort of like Diva from Overwatch. I can see that, but I don't know. Like the outfit just looks kind of gross here, or at the very least, like this. The, it's I think it's the pink. The pink just fucking makes it look gross. I mean, it's someone's fetish, but it's not mine. Yeah, I'm going to guess one 4 out of 10. This, shit, this ain't going to work out for me. Yeah. Next up is the Revival Maid costume. 
standard French maid outfit. Well, I guess pink. I, I don't know. I don't like her in pink, but like this one is better than the last one, so I'm going to give it a 6 out of 10. But I just don't think pink is her color. If she was... If she had a real face, it would look like a wiki how illustration. <laughs> she looks like she belongs in the fucking Wizard of Oz. I don't know. It just... Like, I feel like I'd, I feel like I'd see her in a children's cartoon making something. She, yeah, you know, I, I can see it. I don't know why. Like, it, it's just the pink. The pink is so fucking weird. I don't, I don't get it. Why it just doesn't work on her. I, I'm gonna give it. I'm gonna give it like a five out of ten. I think. I think we're gonna change. I think we're gonna change it into a five out of ten because it's not awful. Like fucking. It, it's not like super weird, but it's just not like I'm just indifferent to it. Yeah, it's. It's not good or bad. <laughs> good job, you're perfectly average. All right, so next up is the alluring Mandarin dress. I guess go the other way. Okay, I can see the Chinese design. Yeah, I can. Uh, I think I'm gonna give this one seven out of ten. Maybe, maybe, maybe. It, Seven out of ten. I uh, could be persuaded to an eight though, because it, it is a really. This is actually a really good looking skin on everyone who has it. Like this skin's probably the best skin pack next to the deluxe. I probably give it probably seven point five, because the gold flowers really work. Yeah, it's just a really nice outfit. Next up is the Gust mashup costume. This is a mashup for a fantasy anime, so I guess she's supposed to be like a fantasy belly dancer or something. I really don't know. Eh. I'm gonna give it a six. Cause the gold's not even doing it for me here. Cause it's just fucking the 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 fucking whack ass white pink's just not fucking really selling it for me. And the flower hair is all right, but I don't know. It's just not a. I'm indifferent to it. it, it she looks like an extra. Yeah, it's just not very. It's just not a very good outfit. Yeah, she looks like one of the. She looks like one of the background characters when two characters are talking. <laughs> she looks like the legal third wheel. All right, so these are going to be part of the last two skin packs. So the first one is Revival High Society. Uh, it's supposed to be, like, well, High Society costume, but I don't know fucking where. And I'll be honest, she has a better version of this already with, like, her fucking original outfit with the whole black long sleeve and turtleneck and shit, so... Okay, so it's Kasumi as a teacher. Uh, that's honestly the way I interpret this skin pack, because it's basically just makes everyone look like a fucking teacher by comparison. Uh, I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a six out of ten. It's not bad, but it's not all that good either. Mm, yeah, about probably six point five. And last one is going to be a school uniform. I mentioned this earlier. She does get a school girl outfit, and that is it. I mean, and, and uh, I know it's going to be inappropriate, but I've actually read Hentai where she has an outfit like this, and I thought this would look better in the actual game, but it does not. <laughs> so I, I mean, know the outfit can work, it's just, I don't know, it just doesn't work here. The problem is, because A, one, she looks like she's from a slice of life, and two, I've seen tons of characters with the same design, and it just... It's yeah. one of those costumes where it's like you've seen it enough times that it's not anything. No, like yeah, like for sure I wasn't like I wasn't expecting it very good, but it's kinda like I feel like she also doesn't really help it out by any means. I feel like if the ribbon was red as well, it would work a lot better. The ribbon in her hair? Hmm. Yeah, because that is I think the ribbon has been changing colors or has it not been? I think it's yeah, no, it so the ribbon changes, yeah. So I haven't even noticed the ribbon. I have been looking at the fucking outfit the entire time. I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. I'm basically just in the middle of indifferent. I mean, the Japanese school go outfit, it's someone's fetish, but it's not mine. I like my women legal. <laughs> That's a good thing. Uh, so overall for Kasumi, um, again, I do think her best skin was the uh, pre-order bonus. Um, I, I'm going to say like rain the whole skins overall. I'm going to give her like a seven out of 10 because she had for the most part, pretty good skins. And the ones that weren't bad, weren't like offensively bad. 
I'd, I'd probably put her at like 7.5 because some of her costumes, I think she had just as many good as she did bad. Yeah. The good ones were really good, though. Oh, yeah. Some of them were absolutely spectacular. So, um, you want to do another character since we still got some time left? Well, I was thinking, why don't we do one girl and one man per video? But I was also thinking, what would what would you say your favorite outfit is? I'd, I'd probably go with the, with the proper Santa outfit. Uh, for me, this outfit was her best one. The digital deluxe bonus. This was, for me, like, the fucking winner. Mm -hmm. Like, because I haven't really looked at it all that much since, like, you know, I played the game because I don't play Kasumi all that much. But this one, pretty fucking solid all across the board. This is definitely her best skin. And you're claiming your favorite was the Santa Helper costume? Yep, the purple one. Yeah. Th this one this one came out earlier. This was so much better than what the bikini they released. Okay, so the guy's gonna... I'll be honest, the guys don't have a lot of skins to begin with, so uh, this this will be a lot quicker to, to, to handle. <laughs> Uh, do you have a, do you want, which guy do you want to talk about since I don't really think it matters? I'll just put them in the title so I don't forget. Um, you know what? Let's do Bass. Let's do Bass? Alright, so we're going to be looking at Bass. So, we have a standard, you know, leather Bass outfit. This leather also comes in both white. Which I actually think the white looks better here. And then red. I have to wait for the video to catch up. That's fine. You got studs on, I think, all... Yeah, so they're all studded, and then you have white and blue as well, so... I don't mind, I don't mind the white one. No, like, I think the white one's the best one. I think when they do, like, an all-white primary with blue on the side, it's usually the best color scheme when it comes to these leather outfits. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's a, it's a pretty solid 8 out of 10. You know, it gets the job done really well. Emphasizes Bass's character. You have the nice the muscle right there. And um, just looks pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's something I expect. Like, I know he is, but it's exactly how I picture a wrestler to look like. Yeah, yeah. So definitely 8 out of 10. Maybe 9 out of 10, but I don't know. I think 8 out of 10 is good. How about you? Yeah. All right. We're going to be moving on to his, I believe this is his biker outfit. All right, pretty good start, pretty good start. It comes in black and that color. Random yellow and goldish color. Um, not to turn on this one. And then it comes in the red color. I'm not really digging the mustard yellow. Yeah, I, I don't know. Yellow in this game just hasn't been really selling it for me. I'm sure some characters can pull it off, but I just, I, I haven't seen it yet. The red's not bad. The red's not bad, but uh, I think the black one, I think the starting black one's the best one. Yeah. And this outfit... It kind of reminds me of his default skin from 5. Yeah, yeah, it looks a lot like that one. You know, I wonder if you can actually put the bandana on him real fast. Hang on. Uh, let me see. I think that's it. If, it. if he has the bandana, I think I'd be the spitting image of his one from 5. Yep, there's the bandana. Yeah, no, because so every character in this game has a new outfit, and then they have their original outfit. Now, the sad part for the men is that this is all they get in-game. Because the deluxe costume's up next after this, so it's going to go straight to DLC. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to give it another 8 out of 10. Like, mm, wait, hang on a minute. Uh, you know what? Actually, I'm going to drop I think the band. I, I think the band dinner really sells it. The bandana does sell it, but I'm looking at the jiggle effects of the fucking dog tags and how dog tags look, and I'm gonna I'm gonna drop down to seven out of ten. The dog tags look kind of the gross. dog tags the, the dog tags look fake. Yeah, they look like plastic. It's gonna be a seven out of ten for me. <laughs> <laughs> and next up we have the deluxe costume, the muscle. So he's in a leotard, standard wrestling outfit. I wonder if the bandana's gonna stay on for every skin now. That doesn't change it. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a seven out of ten for me. Like it's not bad, but it's not really anything else beyond that. Yeah. All right. I mean, oh, it's a wrestler. Yeah, like I mean, like there's not really much else to really say here. It gets the job done. 
Next up is the Happy Wedding costume. And, oh, that, that actually looks nice on him. His tie's a little messed up, but I'm wondering if that's because he's posed that way or if that's just the way it is in the skin. Damn. Yeah, that's a really good now, skin. Now I can see how he made Tim. <laughs> I, think, I, think this might be, I think I'm going to give this one a 9 out of 10. Maybe This might be, actually be a 10 out of 10 because it looks really fucking good. That's about to wreck your ass. <laughs> Mr. Steal Your Girl has shown up. <laughs> Yeah, I think I just want to know. It's funny because he—it's funny because he's voiced by one of my favorite English dub voice actors. Is he? Yeah. What else is he voiced? I, I don't recognize his voice actor. He's done Ragnar, the Blood Edge, Dio. He did Dio. Uh, oh yeah, his Dio is really good. Is he Dio from the uh, actual JoJo's, like the anime, or is he the OVA? No, the actual dub. Oh wow! I did not. I did not know that. Yeah, no, I think this is going to be a 10 out of 10. Oh, and off topic, not part of the video, but the dub is finally up to the Metallica versus King Crimson. And yes. the Doppio in the Doppio ring is almost point for point. I mean, personally, I, I don't have problems with dubs. I, I, I know a lot of people give dubs shit, but I, I personally don't think they're all that bad. The people who give them shit, I find most of the time, don't know what good voice acting is either. Because it's like, I've heard some bad Japanese voice acting. Impossible. Yeah, so I'm gonna give this one a ten out of ten. What about you? Like I know I know I'm gonna get shit for this, but the Japanese dub for Blaze Blue sucks. <laughs> I've never heard Japanese dub. Like I mean, cause like dubs or um, English dubs can work out really well. It's just that like oh, some of them some of them can be absolutely horrendous, but some of them can be legendary. Yeah, like I'm, I'm over there watching Kanichi History Strongest Disciple, and I, I can't really see that without being like dubbed. I could not watch that subbed. Like uh, Helsing, Helsing is some Helsing Ultimate is something I could never watch subbed. <laughs> There's a sub for it. Crispin Freeman sells that for me. It's the I, same with Afro Samurai. I can't watch Afro Samurai subbed either. Never watched Afro Samurai. Okay, Kyle, I need you, I need you to get back. I, on top I, of I, I Just need Samuel L. Jackson to scream at me. Wait, he's he's does he dub Afro Samurai? Yeah, he's Ninja Ninja. Is that the main character? No, no, it's the white, it's the white-haired little one. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, I I have to look this up later. The one who does the one who does Afro is the um the person who does Hellboy. The actor for the animated movies or for the movie itself? He does both. The new actor or the old actor? The old one. Oh, wow. I'll, I'll look it up later. That sounds like a really interesting dub. Watch it. It'll only, it'll only take a couple of hours. Yeah, I got free time now these days. So, Kyle, I need your rating for the skin before we can move on to the pirate skin. Daddy basket to nine. <laughs> I think it's the best skin overall, so I don't know what's going to be higher. All right, so we got a uh, Pirate Cove. He has a little pistol on the side. And once again, we have the inclusion of the wonderful hat you love so much. Well, it works for him. Yeah, I'll say, although it does work better for him than it did for fucking Kasumi. I like the eye patch too. It makes me believe. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. I don't think it's better than the uh, wedding costume or the other ones, but I, it's not bad. I don't think he has, like, any real bad skin so far. I'll give that I'll give that a solid 8. Solid 8. Seaside Eden. So, just expect... Yeah, just expect swim trunks. I don't really know what else to say here. Like, 5 out of 10. Again, I've seen wrestling, but, like, eh, I... I I personally don't like seeing men in undies. Like, cause I, like in the King of Fires game I'm playing right now, we have The Rock where he's just in his underwear, or like where he's just in like the you know like fucking leather outfit. So it's like, I don't know, it's just kind of, it's just kind of weird. But he's he has he no tattoos. Champion. If he had tattoos, I think the skin could be a lot better. But he has no tattoos, so it's just kind of like bland. Yeah, I think you're onto something. If he actually had any tattoo, I think it would. 
Yeah, because like the Rock especially, has, especially how he likes to position his arm. Yeah, because the Rock has like a massive fucking tattoo on like the right side of his body or one of the sides of his body, and it just helps out like with the aesthetic. So here I'm just gonna have to say it's a it's a five out of ten. It's not offensively bad or super bad. It's just not very good either. It's just bland. Four. I don't like dudes in undies. <laughs> Alright, so we have the Morphe Ninja... Oh, okay, that, that one's actually pretty good. <coughs> Morphe Ninja costume. He looks like he's about to turn into the next Power Ranger. <laughs> it's morphing time! <laughs> time to activate my fucking uh, Morphe... Okay, so we have some kunai, and we have a katana, but it doesn't look anywhere near as good as Kasumi's katana. The gold actually looks really good here on the back as well, the gold insignia. It looks like a warlord. I'm going to give this one 9 out of 10. I really like it. I feel like if you ever scream morphing time, Riggs would just jump out of nowhere and help. <laughs> Power Rangers together. <laughs> uh, I think I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. Because it's, uh, yeah. it's really good. And then we have... Okay, so he has two Santa Helpers outfit, actually. So we have the standard red Santa... Gonna go ahead and go in reverse as well. And we have a black Santa outfit as well. Oh, and it comes with the fucking shades too. Black. Yeah, the black's the way better option, absolutely. Do you know why? I, 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 I want my presents from that Santa. That's cool Santa. <laughs> That's that's fucking cool, Santa. I want cool Santa to show up to my house. I'm gonna give it. A, I think I'm gonna give this one a nine out of ten for what it's supposed to be. It really does the job well, and I don't know why the the sunglasses and the black just really mesh well together. I mean, straight straight up, if somebody if somebody was to wear this, I'd be super fucking cool with that because that's really really nice. Someone just walks up around me on the street wearing this fucking sand outfit and glasses. And it's like, if I saw if I if I saw a shopping center Santa with a black one like that who looked like that, I'm like, fuck it, I want a photo. <laughs> so I met cool Santa today. <laughs> and the last one. Oh, so what's your review? What's your number for it? I gave it a nine out of ten. Yeah, I'd, I'd give it a out of five, if not a nine. And the last one is the weirdest one. Design costume 2019. Oh, God. Is he Bane? So, I didn't know this at the time when I first saw it. I thought it looked kind of weird. I read the Kenichi manga, and I guess this is some form of training gear. Because the resistance of the fucking springs when you're moving your arms around helps build your muscle. It looks like some sort of sex device. Honestly, when I first saw it, that's why I was kind of thinking that it was supposed to be something like that. But no, it's it's training gear. So this is him with training gear on. And he also has some for his legs as well. You can't really see it very well because the game does not let you fucking scroll down to look. But there if is... If you gave him a mask, he'd be fucking Bane. <laughs> I'm going to say this one's going to be a 6 or 7 out of 10 for me because, I mean, it, it's better than, like, just wearing nothing at all. But it's basically just the same outfit. <clears throat> I'm going to give him a 7. It looks like he broke the bat. <laughs> Did you try to do your best Bane impression there? Is that what you were trying to do there? No, I fucking yawned. <laughs> okay, so, uh, best outfit, uh, your personal opinion? Definitely the suit. It was the original suit? Yeah. Yeah, no question. This was easily his best outfit. He had some close ones, but I don't know. The suit just looks fucking clean. That looks fucking great. Okay, so overall, the character skins. Uh, very clearly, he doesn't have that many skins to work with. So what would you rate overall the character in terms of skins? I mean, none of his skins are effectively bad. Yeah, I think it's going to be an 8 out of 10 for sure. Yeah. Because he doesn't really have any bad skins. Yeah. The only thing he has is like either boring skins or just like bland skins. But the, he, I don't think there was any like just straight up bad skin. 
And it's like everything I could see him wearing and making it work. Yeah, no. Well, overall, good skin choices for Bass all across the board. And this video is about to hit the 50 minute mark, so I guess we should stop there. <laughs> Fuck me, 50 all right, minutes. So, all right, so we found, we found the thing. We do one girl and one boy. Well, um, so I'll end the video before I start counting, but I, I we're going to have to do, because uh, I don't think there's enough boys to do one boy and one girl, but we might pair like girls who are similar. Like we might pair Tina with Helena or Tina with Rachel, just because they're already similar physiques and shit. And anyway, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you guys for your time as always. Have a nice day. I would be very amazed if anyone actually makes it to the end of this video. <laughs> thank you very much for having me. This has been fun. Yeah, no, definitely. This is a lot more fun than I was expecting. Just didn't expect it because... Like, there was so much talk about with each skin, like, not just fucking just outright saying, like, oh, she's fucking hot or oh, she's that, like, oh, She damn. looks great every game. Oh, Tina? Yes. Dude, Tina just fucking, T Tina fucking is 10 out of 10. I, 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 I'll I be honest, Tina might be the first 10 out of 10 skin girl all across the board. I don't think, no, no, I think I remember she, oh, fuck, no. you know, we'll, we'll, say, we'll start with Tina next time and we'll decide who'll go with it, because, like, Tina's schoolgirl outfit is the fucking best. So thank you guys for your time as always and have a nice day. <laughs>